numbers in system verilog in this video you will go through the number counts in the presentation in system verilog there are two types of number counts in, in system verilog that is integer and real so first you will go through integer numbers and in the next slide you will learn about real numbers so integer constants can represent two ways in two types first is a simple integer constants or unsized uh, simple decimal constant with digits from 0 to 9 and an optional plus or minus argument so these are some examples a simple 4 is uh, uh, digit 4 digit 40 you can even use plus 40 or uh, some minus numbers My, you can use any numbers from 0 to 9 and plus minus symbols so, and this will be a simple unsized decimal constants is looking similar to some other programming language and there is another type of integer numbers supported in system verilog which are based literal constants so these are represented with three different fields or there are three different tokens in the representation the first one is an optional optional one which is a size constant it will tell how many bits are there in that integer constants and next one is an apostrophe character this character then followed by a base formatting character so this base formatting character will tell whether it is a decimal number hexadecimal number octal number or binary number so you need to use d for decimal b for binary h for hexadecimal and o for octave and the third one is digits representing the value of the number now let, let us look at some example so here 4 d5 so this represent a 5 the number 5 so it's represented in based literal constant uh, way so the first one is the size size constant it says there should be four bits in this constant and second one is an apostrophe character followed by a base format character so an apostrophe fo followed by d represents this one is a decimal number so and third one is a digit representing the various number that is five so this is decimal five in four uh, in four bits so this is again equivalent to a hexadecimal 5 because decimal 5 and hexadecimal 5 are equal so this is equal to a hexadecimal 5 for tick h5 and if you are representing it binary you can represent it like 4 tick b 0101 so all these are same numbers the number 5 represented in different formats if you again in um, system log any negative number is represented by using two complement so also you can uh, write a negative symbol before that number to say that it's a negative number so say for example negative 4d5 represent a negative 5 which is e equal to the two's complement of decimal 5 held in four bits so that is important when you go to go to, when you take the dis uh, the two's complement of a number it really it's really important that how many bits are there so so it represent minus 4 d5 represent the negative 5 which is equal to 2's complement of decimal 5 in 4 bits which is equal to 1011 also you can write a num number as negative by uh, adding an s to this um, format character so it says it says a uh, 2's complement format so 4 tick s d5 is equal to 2's complement of decimal 5 held in 4 bits which is equal to this value now also remember that it's valid to use an underscore anywhere in, in integer numbers except at the beginning so here are some examples so you can uh, just to write simple decimal say 456 you can write it like 4 underscore 56 or 45 underscore 6 everything is valid but only thing is we can't use at the beginning of the number so this will be quite useful when you uh, write a program with a long long binary representation or something like that so say for example if you wanted to write a binary constant somewhere in the program like this so without the underscore it will look like this and you can easily decode them if you're using some underscore in between so here is an example 16b 1100 underscore 100 underscore 0110 underscore 0011 which is equal to the same number without underscore uh, which is equal to the hexadecimal number c 8 6 and 1 
so you can even represent like 6 h c underscore 8 and underscore 6 underscore 3 which is again equal to 16 x c 8 c 3 so it's valid to use underscore anywhere you can use underscore anywhere within a number to make it more convenient to read next is real numbers so the real number should have at least one digit on both sides of the decimal point so uh, 3.4, 0 0.02, uh, 3.4 is a valid number, 0 0.2 is a valid representation, but if you just write 0.5, it's an invalid representation because it says there should be one digit on both sides of the decimal point. And also you can um, represent a decimal number in that scientific notation using E, the exponent exponential symbol E, uh, 34 E5 is equal to 34 multiplied by 10 to the fifth power. But real numbers are not commonly used uh, in uh, system where log test bench programming in most of the cases. Next is time constants. So, um, apart from integer and real number constants, system value also supports time constants. So, time constant represents a time value in some specific format. So, time constant is formed by a number followed by a time unit in any of any of these these representation without a space so f f s picosecond nanosecond uh, microsecond millisecond and second so if you wanted to uh, write a time constant as like um, 10 nanosecond you have to write it like 10 ns which is correct 20.2 ns which is also correct but 10 space ns is wrong because a space is not allowed between these two and um, these time constants are interpreted as real time and rounded to the correct time precision. Um, so here you can in any simulation you can set the time constant and the basic time unit and time precision in this simulation. And if you use a time constant representation like this, all the all of them will be uh, approximated to rounded to the correct the current time precision unit as you have described in the simulation. Uh, 